Alrighty, y'all. We are back. And it's starting to rain a little bit on me, so I'm kind of a little aggravated. I wanted to get out here and uh, get this hog cleaned. And I want to show y'all, but it's kind of iffy on what Facebook allows you to see and you know, show and, and what you can't, you know. Hey, y'all. I see y'all jumping on. Um, We are out here in the rain. Um, Yes, I got the toothbrush out of the toilet. Um, yeah, that got, that got thrown away, obviously. Um, thanks for asking. Uh, if y'all guys caught the little live that I just did, I, uh, it cut out a little bit. Something happened with the video and, oh, I ripped my shirt. I didn't even notice that. Um, something happened with the video. I was walking around my brother's house and then it, it just, it cut out and then it like jumped to me complaining about my toothbrush falling in the toilet. So, uh, I don't know what happened with that video, but it, uh, it kind of messed up a little bit. But, y'all, we are currently outside. I uh, fixed my face a little bit, and this, this little hair won't go away. Um, last night, yesterday, it's been about, let's start the, let's start the full story. I'm gonna set this up where y'all can't really see what I'm doing because I don't want to get banned from Facebook or whatever. Um... But, oh, mm. um, so me and Joshua have been busting butt to get some hog meat in the freezer. If y'all been following along on my lives and videos and everything, um, <clears throat> we went out, we put a feed up. We literally had one night to one day to get this done. And Josh has never shot anything before. Not a deer, not a hog, nothing like that. He's a fisherman, y'all. Um, and so my goal was to make sure that he got something before I went off to Pierport to fish alligators. And usually our August, we call hoggus. And the hogs are super, super thick, okay? We have like an abundance of wild boar down here. And... Um, we busted butt. We went and set up a feeder. We did the whole thing. We cleared out, you know, whatever we had to do. Cleaned up a little bit. Cleaned the stand. And I got him all set up. And he's got this old Iron Sight Sears and Roebuck 3030. And it is just, it is a beautiful, sweet little gun. Y'all, I want to show y'all. It's raining and it's so pretty. I don't know if y'all going to be able to see it um, on, the, on the camera. But I'm going to flip this around and see if y'all can see the rain. But I'm under this tree, so it'll be all right. Um, so anyway, yeah, we busted butt to get the... Oh, it almost ended, y'all. I hit the wrong button. Almost messed up my lap. No, what is going on? I don't know what's going on, y'all. It's hitting all kind of buttons and stuff. And this... this thing isn't working like it was um i'm trying y'all i'm trying i'm sorry there we go maybe that'll be okay for now um so we busted butt we went back there we put the feet up we only had a day to to get the job done and we managed to make that happen hunts don't usually don't um turn out that successful so fast and I'm trying to preach that to him because it happened so easy and so quick for him um but he really appreciated it and it was an awesome thing for us to share we have a picture by our little trail camera and that was that was really neat but anyway she he is right here he got a big old boa and I am fixing to we cleaned it up last night we got the meat in the refrigerator because we forgot to bring the ice chest. We got to go get an ice chest to go back home with and everything. If y'all didn't know, we are down here staying by my brother's house. And I am fixing to skin this head out because Joshua wants the skull. So that's what we are going to do. And I was going to wait until I was almost finished so I could show you guys. But it started raining. And I got to kind of get it done really quick now. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to do this for a second. So, 
I'm going to show y'all what I'm doing. I don't know what Facebook can, what y'all can see and what y'all can't see. And I know that y'all can't really see it, so maybe I'll get away with it, you know. But don't get aggravated with me. But look, this is... And we got it all cleaned and, and uh, um, hosed up and everything, so. But, uh, yeah, y'all. Josh, you want to tell him anything? You want to say something to the people? Tell him how your hunt went? No? He's soaking wet. Y'all, probably not. Y'all know Josh. He not really. He don't ever get in front of the camera. But that's okay. That's okay. y'all well i hope y'all are ready for alligator season because i leave monday to go to pierre park i see the landry's have been having a good old time i can't wait to get up there and spend some time with them do a little bit of step family bonding if you know <clears throat> we do some good cooking while we out there and it's always a good time you know oh y'all Speaking about passing a good time, I went and did. I have pictures that I'm going to share with y'all in a very, very short little uh, video clip of me reading. I got an amazing opportunity to go and read to this school. Um, their mascot is the Gators. And I went and sat in front of these kids and engaged them in my favorite story when I was a little girl. My grandma used to read to me. And it is called Feliciana Phaedra LaRue. And it's about a little Cajun girl who lived in a stilt house in the marsh with her whole family. They all lived in this little Cajun shack. And her grandpa was an alligator fisherman. And she always wanted to go fish alligators with him, and he never would let her. So one night, she sneaks out, and she gets herself in a pickle. And it is a, a fav still a favorite story of mine. And I think the kids really enjoyed it, and I was very, very thankful and appreciative for the opportunity to go to Jefferson Parish and talk to their kids and read to the kids my favorite story when I was their age. So that was really awesome, and, you know, I, you wouldn't get opportunities like that otherwise if I wasn't doing what I was doing. So it's hard and it's rough and I complain sometimes, but silver linings and everything, y'all. All right, I am going to jump off because I'm getting a, it, it got deep really quick and I don't want to get kicked off of Facebook for this. So thank y'all for tuning in and I will talk to y'all soon. We'll give y'all a little update. Probably, maybe I'll probably be in Pierre Park next time I jump on here. Um, but thank y'all. And keep following the grain. I love y'all, and y'all have a good day. See y'all soon. <laughs>